washed my flash drive. Oh, and that has like information I really required on it. So I was like, I can't even tell Olivia until I know it's certain because I'm gonna agree. <laughs> and it, luckily, I did not wash it. It was in your coat. Mm -hmm. I was like, thank Christ, because I don't know where the rest of my data is. It like disappeared. <laughs> Like that's not okay because we need to visit all of it. Yeah, no, thank you. Why are there like codes on there? Play games. <laughs> Play games with the drum man and download screensavers and wallpapers. <laughs> Dumdumpops.com. <laughs> Yours doesn't say that? No. What the heck? Okay, thank you for continuous support of the meetings. Uh, thank you for not dropping the sports and being brave and stay. Um, does anyone has fear for disclosing identity? I can collect, uh, oh, make, make a list, and then put like little symbols like stars, uh, diamonds, clubs. Right, 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 and then and then distributed back. I mean, yes, my name's, but my name's already on it, so it's. it's I have my name in. Yeah, at this yeah. point, it's just kind of. I think. I could <laughs> cut it off. Do you, do you care about it? No. I, I can just. Um, I mean. Make, make a list, uh, cover it. No, it's fine. It's fine. One one time I was bringing stickers. Oh. I made stickers with. <laughs> well, I mean, I want that anyway. But. Uh, okay, I'll bring stickers just. Mm -hmm. So you you're not sensitive to disclosing it in it's okay. It's fine. I will admit I did not finish all of the problems. Oh or some. <laughs> uh, some. some. Okay, much better. I, got it. Much so better. I, I finished oh. some of them, but That's I did not finish yeah. every single one. Okay, uh, Patricia, did you try yeah, this I homework? Did. Oh I'm impressed. It, it adds credit to you. Good. Um Oh, say, <laughs> don't even worry about it. <laughs> you have, you have, um, can you text to Fred and check his? Yeah, we can call it. ETA. You have my window. Fred. You're ringing him. Oh, ETA now. ETA now. He accepted the mental state. He's just waiting for you. Much, much appreciated because, like, if you start earlier, then it's not clear how to organize this collective effort. We'll orchestrate the one. Yeah. Well, we can't even. Fred's homework is very oh, why yellow. Can he write on that? No, 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 no. Let me distribute. But you, you can make this. That's okay. I think that might have given me a paper cut on my wrist. <laughs> Uh, Patricia, uh, give it to Elsa. Holding my dog. Oh yes, only one sheet. Thanks, Ava. Yeah, okay. On the other side, dog too. Yeah, I know. Still only one paper. Um, I think so. I didn't use it. So, uh, uh, you know, I don't have one, sir. Sorry, <laughs> yeah. oh, Patricia, do you have two? Do we have two? No, no, just one. No, you have no, two. No, I have two. All right. Okay. Okay. So, um, no other tasks. We just do grading. I'll show. I apologize grading. ahead of time for this ugliest possible handwriting. That's okay. And, and I was not reading it. Uh, Right before the class, so I will stare on this and try to get whatever they was uh, ready. Um, be generous to each other and give each other benefit of the doubt. Right? Oh, uh, right? he was like, you wouldn't enjoy doing this. You just spent like $150 on it. Here's a free sticker. Yeah. Yes. You're the great So, mm -hmm. if I keep math correctly, First five problems should add up to uh, 100, 60, 70, 100, yes. And the number six is 40. So 
but everything, everything, yes, everything divided by 100. Right? right. So if you miss 40 points from main task, you and you did extra credit, you're still on a good track. So right. okay. So that we stay friends after yeah. the class. Yeah. Brother. Stay friends, Dimitri. We're going to stay friends regardless. Yeah, we're going Thank to you. Thank you. Just Thank you. speak for yourself. Well, you know, <laughs> okay, and you'll be careful with this, right? <laughs> Wait, what was four? Question four was out of. Uh, oh, let's start number one. Each size of the one dimensional box will provide energy of two of the box. Um, so, okay, E2 minus E1. So, here we do have the uh, energy, right? Of the, you, you plug it either two or one and um, compute energy. The uh, energy subtraction is just e two minus e one, and then it will be just two squared minus minus one squared, right? And to solve for uh, L, you write down this square root. And uh, if there is uh, an equation written correctly, is like maybe nine out of ten. If there is an attempt to give actual size in nanometers or angstroms, and it looks reasonable, give full credit. Okay. Um, just, just curious. How many of graders do you see a square root in this answer? I mean, the square root is not drawn, but it's like L squared, and then okay. the one like okay, so at least. 40% do yeah. see it. Okay. Well, so question one. I don't know why that says question two. Oh, uh, well, because question one is so. Oh, that was really hard now. So yeah, so I was okay. confused. Okay. And, so what uh, is the answer? Numerically. I don't know. Oh, okay. I'm okay. Well, that's okay. Those who have just got vote, what, what's the answer? 1.88. Of what? Which units? I don't know. I don't want to expose this, <laughs> this sensitive point. information. But uh, but uh, it should be of the order of a couple of nanometers or about 20 angstroms. 20? Um, okay. Full points. Full points. Full points. Okay. 20. Okay. So this was like. Uh, this was out of 10. Out of ten, was just like a small fraction. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. Uh, number it's two. Full credit. Who are the particles in the box of, of the given length find matrix elements of position operator? This is. Uh, yeah, this is position a position operator and momentum operator. It should be more than thirty points. Oh, it's too late yeah, to change. Not to change green, but, but green, yeah, exactly. it's a lot of work. <laughs> so, um, for the. Uh, <laughs> 1x1 and 2x2, I think all of us can guess the answer without any math. What is the answer? L over 2. Yes. Because yes. It, it is a symmetric function and it's most probable to be in the center. Yeah. So, uh, why are you not writing? Is it everything so perfect or everything so bad? No, it's fine. Just like okay. I think I um, used a different variable instead of L, but like yeah. I have the or or uh, yeah, after okay. after Fred's comment about me, you fear him and you don't want to put anything <laughs> to come. Like yeah, you, yeah. you in, in addition to grades, you can write sarcastic comments like I thought you can do better. <laughs> yes. Can I watch out <laughs> yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So yogurt. so for uh um, okay, I guess. For first and last to be L over two, right? Yeah. For momentum, for the first momentum and for the last momentum, without solving, I guess it will be zero because particle is, doesn't go away from the box. Its component of momentum, positive and negative, is zero. So for first and second, when it is in the eigenstate, I would 
but without solving that it should be zero. Okay. Okay, so there should be zero. If if there is a mathematical derivation, give give credit. And for this uh, transition okay. matrix elements, it could be a little uh, mathematical exercise. So uh, what is it? So integral expectation value of x sine two by x over l and sine by x over, over l. So the answer that I've got was like minus 20 over nine uh, l over pi squared. Does anyone has similar? Yeah, similar. Similar. Okay. <laughs> yeah. um, yeah, why is it so? It's sixteen. Well, it's sixteen. Close enough. Close enough. Yeah, yeah. What are you talking about? But by by the so by units, it should be proportional to L, right? Yeah. It shouldn't be dimensionless. So L and some factors. Yeah. And yeah. This, right. And yeah. some some may be already accepted. Pi squared as about ten. And then twenty divided by ten will be two. Two divided by nine. Whatever your math tells yeah. you, like yeah. zero point eighteen. Sure. Yeah. Thanks, L. But how um, give <laughs> partial credit if even if the answer is off, but you have the uh, train of thoughts departing in the right direction. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so is it twenty so, negative twenty over five? Or over nine. Over, over nine, 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 nine. nine. Yeah. So it's L over. If anyone finds any error in my calculations and prove that it is an error, it will be like very generous credit. So catch my errors if you can. Well, you will serve to next generation. Huh? Oh. <laughs> Adam, first so, cycle uh, Product into summation, right? By trigonometry, yeah. and then there are two integrals. One integral of x times cosine, another x times cosine of triple argument. Uh, how do we do x times cosine? Or x times cosine of the other end? Yeah. What's the rule that one needs to apply? Oh, the derivative of integration of parts. Oh. Part. Right. Oh, yeah. right. So if you see integration by part, give <laughs> partial credit. Yeah. Sure. Just, just don't go over the total 30 through a partial credit. <laughs> I gave so many partial credits, I didn't get like partially out of 30. <laughs> and, and if you're out of points, uh, just uh, give encouraging comments. Like, I'm so impressed. So I'm impressed. Okay. Sorry. So by part, UDV, UDV, VDU, right? Is what we assume, right? So the uh, u is x, v is uh, sine. And then if we take this integral, then uh, something gets pretty right? Yeah. Sine, uh, first, first term should, should get to zero because sine of. Uh, at the beginning of the box and at the end of the box will be will be zero, and then we have only integral uh, sine uh, x dx, which will be cut sine, and then one plug in uh, initial and final. And uh, the main thing is what is the pre factor? Like here it will be L over, or oh, in general case, if we have um, sine of the order m, one can solve it in, in general for any order. Uh, it will be L over N squared. And then we just plug in different values of N, which is um, one and three, right? And right. subtracting this to these two uh, integrals, when it will get this uh, factor. So, and if one simplifies, I think L over five, minus L over five is, is more or less okay. Okay, okay. Oh yeah, I think we are still in time. Oh, so I accidentally started just put it would have been correct. That's the okay. So negative l over five is the answer for the for one x two. Approximately. Oh, Approximately. Okay. 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 So negative twenty 
The, the negative 21 was yeah. for yeah. that's different. Never mind. Oh, that's still wrong. The 12 was seven. No, it's just scroll back. Yes. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. For 21 May. and five square. Well, uh, this, if, if you if you do the math, so range over nine over five square, which is like 10. So it will be two over nine, and it is approximately like two over 10. Okay. And it is approximately oh, so one over five. Oh, okay. okay. We, we do not partial credits. We do, yeah. we do not pursue like 10 significant figures. Yeah, oh, we don't. Just train should be part in the right direction. Train, okay. right, right. So, you, you know, like 6 30 is fine. It was like, okay. Um, like what, what is the value if, if on swaps mm -hmm. one and two, if it is a uh, matrix element from two to one? Yeah, like my cooking style or. What sorry? First. What sorry? Maybe maybe your message is more important. What happens when they swap the two and the one? Like, yeah. Isn't it just opposite sign? Why? Because you're like measuring it in the opposite direction. Hmm. <laughs> should, or it should be the same. Let's scroll back. Um, so we have just products. Of sign of single argument and sign of double argument. Mm -hmm. If you swap, they are not complex conjugate. If you swap, their order will be the same. Oh yeah. So uh, for two x one should be the same. Right? Okay. Express your generosity in in writing. Okay. I didn't show anything for momentum. Yeah. Okay. Um, then just be generous about the momentum and uh, use your own vision. Do, do you see anything anything good for for momentum? Are there zeros or non zeros? Zero, zeros. Zeros. Okay. 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 So um, at the end, add all numbers and put at the front page, and I will collect and look myself to approve your. You're great. Um, Which I am looking forward to approving the vote. Just to think. I need to. Okay. So no objections. Okay. On, the, on a protocol. No objections. Same. Um, yeah. Oh. This is tough. Yeah. So partial excitation. The expansion coefficients um, do not need to be always real, they can be different, right? They just must things, and their absolute value squared should should add up to one. But uh, phase that comes from factors can be different. So prediction of future, the prediction of future for individual coefficients are here, right? And uh, yeah, so prediction of future is, is, is right here. You don't need anything else. We know how the system evolves in time. It stays in, in, in the, with the same proportions in the superposition of eigenstates one and two, but expansion coefficients, uh, they phrased it, some few hated. Accumulate the phase. Phase, is uh, phase accumulation. Yeah, we, that's our worst enemy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, phase accumulation. Now, right down, oh, done, whatever. Okay. If three questions, yeah. total, what, what's the total? 30 yeah. points. Okay, then 10 points per. Right, right. May as well be one question. It's in a rainbow. Yeah. Abstract. Yeah. Abstract. Yeah. Okay, so. Abstract maps. Three questions, 10, 30, 30. The question three is 30 points. The second question was 30 points. Correct. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That, then after that, I didn't write it down. So I don't okay. Know. So um, part of the knowledge. We find um, expectation value of position as function of time. Yeah. So you can look at it. Oh, your Fred. <laughs> effort is. So uh, do you see as graders expression like this in uh, in the works you are grading? Yes, a little more. But, but I guess so actually, yeah. The, the, the E 
like the expanded C2 and C1 are like put into there. Okay, so expansion coefficients, a pair of expansion coefficients, and then matrix element, right? Oh, yeah, I was, I was also talking about the first part, sorry. Okay. And, and for the matrix elements, um, I don't know, fortunately or unfortunately, uh, the questions build up on, on each other. So problem three is based on, on solution of problem two. So here one plugs in uh, for first and last matrix elements are L over two. For the uh, second and third, they should be L over five or whatever you want. Right? So we add together these four fractions of, of both lengths, but each of them is coming with different time dependent factors. Okay. So what are the time dependent factors for the first and last? Uh, if we do have um, first C1 with phase uh, accumulating backwards times C1 star and phase accumulating forwards. Oh, it's one. Yes, so this one is one. What about the last one? Yeah. Yeah. Also one. So they, they, one. They, they are easy. And uh, for the second and third, so it will be e to the power uh, e two minus e one, and then all other things like t minus i h bar, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And here it will be the same thing, but e one minus e two, just uh, opposite direction of phase accumulation. Um, B generous keep giving partial grids. Uh, so here are those time dependent factors from the second and third parts. The summation of two exponentials, imaginary exponentials evolving in opposite direction, according to Euler's function, can be reduced to cosine. So if you see this step, also give a partial credit. Right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then uh, from the first one, you have half of L, half of L with factor one, half one, half, adding together should be L over two at midpoint. And then here you have L over five uh, divided by two because of um, needed factor. It will be one over ten L, and then cosine of energy difference. And then it should look like uh, oscillations around the central line, around the line uh, L2, with uh, amplitude of uh, L divided by 10. So more oscillations around the central line. So if you see this figure, give it giving credits. Okay. Okay. Do you need more time to express your generosity or you have that? I express generosity quickly. <laughs> so you're quick and to abandon on generosity. Yeah. Yep. Okay. And uh, the. Oh, it, it's just derivation of things are coming. So. If some of the factors were imaginary, it just has different phase instead of uh, starting from uh, negative value, it starts from zero and then oscillates further. And uh, if one wants to have a comfortable units like pi, two pi, one can just modify the axis so that it is time times delta energy divided by background constant, and then it will be u plus x axis. Where is question four? Four. Let me scroll back because I'm not going to hear it. Oh, by the way, for the, for the energy, energy should be time independent and it should be halfway between first and second excited state, right? Yes. Yes. 
Practice Heisenberg equation of motion, consider this space. Okay, so basically it's some sort of repeating of what we did in the class, right? Newton's whatever all his first law of Newton particle would continuously be proved that, that it is correct. Uh, and the only thing that it starts at zero, and we have a specific value of momentum that one may you know, practice plugging in. So momentum is if uh, just when you're in right? Position increases when you're in time. Yeah. If you see that you spread it, that's it. Okay. Okay. Number five. Practice the same equation of motion for the cell phone falling in, in the gravitational acceleration. <laughs> So, this problem, how many credits does it give? How many? Five, five. Huh? 20. 20. Okay, yeah. And four is 10? Um, so, yeah, four, four is 10. Um, problem number five. Oh, yeah, and we're, we're doing good in time. We, we don't need to rush. Probably we all will. You, I do not promise, but there is a chance to depart there with it. Okay. And today it's it will be not right to start new material. So when we're done, we are done. Problem number five is a bridge between problem number four and problem number six. I don't know if you if you if life becomes easier or harder for this knowledge, but it, it is it is a fact. So in problem number four, the particle didn't experience any force, right? Okay. In problem number six, if you were doing it, particle does experience force that depends on time or on position. So it was like Orion changing force. And now in number five, we have force, but it is constant. Right? So uh, when we were doing problem number four, the change of momentum was zero right no acceleration here we do acceleration and one needs the equation of motion for moment and here don't remember if i offered this little equation during the class if i okay, did it was briefly mentioned or it was in the notes but not, the not pronounced yeah. Uh, then your main achievement in this problem is just to guess this equation or find it or. <laughs> uh, so, how do you interpret this equation? So, it, we, we do not start actual solution, but and I wonder if one needs a minus in front of it. Yes? Yes? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for confirming. So, what, what's the meaning of this equation? How do we read it? If if you forget about quantum on the language of classical mechanics, what this equation means? So, like uh, momentum <coughs> means mass times velocity. And if you have derivative of, of the mass times velocity, if you have the mass times derivative of velocity, which is mass times acceleration. Yes. Okay. Uh, what is derivative of the potential over space? Speechless. <laughs> come on, come on. Okay, I, I, I might maybe uh, colloquial words will let your train depart in the right direction. Okay. <laughs> Radiant of potential. Uh, it's only a particular case. That was something that he tried to get one of you guys to say for one of your presentations. He wanted you to use the right words, and it was gradient of potential. I did I, not say that. 
Okay, well, let's, let's return back to the kindergarten. Yeah. Yes, please. Yeah, we have time. So, if I want to ride a horse race, horse less sleigh. <laughs> so, uh, no, it's, it's too evil, smile. It's like the Grinch. <laughs> So the potential energy corresponds to heights, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. And wh why this character, does, it, does the character stays where he is, moves up or moves down? No. Why? Force. But we, I, I do not, sorry, uh, you are correct, but I don't know what, what force is. I know I'm in kindergarten. I know only that I can go up here or down here. And when I'm going downhill, the energy potential energy decreases. Yeah. Okay, so the derivative of potential energy answers the question the slope. It tells whether it increases or decreases when we go in a certain direction. So derivative of potential is the word that what? yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yeah. You knew it. It is just a little shock of an expected question. Um, so gradient of the potential energy is force. So uh, this thing is MA and this thing is F. Ah, yeah. that's a thing. Right? Ah, that's the, that's but now we, we are speaking quantum language. So instead of acceleration, we have a derivative of expectation value of momentum, right? And instead of uh, force, we have an expectation value of derivative of potential. Right? Um, on another, on a slightly, the same idea on slightly different language. First of all, Newton tells that momentum stays constant. And the reason to change momentum is force. Like when, uh, unfortunately, car is colliding is something, the reason to stop is the force exerted by object colliding is okay. Okay, so it was just a background, kindergarten background for the problem number five. Um, okay. <laughs> that was me looking at the question. <laughs> what are you sure by? Speechless. <laughs> okay. Yes. No, light bulb went off. So the I think here is just repetition in, in case it is needed. So um, the question of motion for station where the position is, is uh, commutation between commutation and position. Uh, we didn't basically in class, so it, it, when you get P. Moment, right? Yeah. With some factors. So here is the expectation value for the position. But position depends on momentum, and momentum here is not constant. Therefore, one needs to find how uh, expectation value of momentum is changing over time. And uh, in our arsenal, we do have a equation of motion from Heisenberg that for any uh, operator, we can find it's uh, how it depends over time by practicing commutation with Hamiltonian. So the Hamiltonian is composed of an energy momentum squared and potential energy. The momentum and momentum, if you do it by p squared p, is equal to PPP minus PPP, which is zero. And this yeah. uh, a very. I have a question. Yes. Why is um, the P, is that like the P besides the H, the energy? Uh -huh. This one. Mm -hmm. Here? Second, just second. 
Okay. Here. Mm -hmm. Why is it that? Because you said um, that um, it's potential energy, and I thought the potential energy equals to that's the energy. Then why is the T there? Okay, I've, I've got the question. Okay. Yeah, thank, thank you, Patricia. Uh, do you have answer without me? Does anyone? Can... Um, I just do not put under doubt that you all know the answer and you, you're just a little shocked by time pressure and necessity to do homework and then great homework. <laughs> yeah. But uh, so I just want to find a little area of space where I can have a peace of mind. So uh, the change of A equal to I for each power, the Newtonian, which is like universal and fundamental, and this one is Okay, and then uh, uh, if you want expectation values, we can add it later. So here in this situation, A equals T. So we plug in P instead of A. Okay, okay. Uh, so the kinetic energy gets out, so we, we have only potential energy P minus momentum potential energy. The momentum is derivative, so we just need to expand this uh, little thing. So if we practice potential energy derivative, onto, so we plug in a function that later on we will remove, and this is not solution of a problem. It is a foundation that I think was missed in the in the lecture. Um, so here one applies here is only one derivative, and here one uh, applies the derivative of a product, right? So v prime phi minus v phi prime, and then the derivative of function from here and derivative of function from there do cancel. So we have only potential derivative over over position. And from, from here we see that time derivative of momentum equals to uh, expectation value of the gradient. Uh, potential is MGH. If you take derivative over space, we, we get MG. Free flow acceleration, right? Whatever force. And we just plug it in and uh, uh, get the same solution as we did in uh, middle or high school physics, right? So that um, the momentum grows linearly, and um, typically one draws the Tower of Pisa, grows Galileo, uh, and, and he drops. Uh, I'm I'm falling down, right? Mm -hmm. It looks like he's falling down. Ah, uh, that's great point. It's just yakking on. Perfect. So it, it goes the any any instant of time it gets quicker and quicker the acceleration. Uh, express your generosity. If you see the answer, you full credit. If you see, uh, if you don't see an answer, but the train has departed in the right direction, give partial credit. What is this? What was this going on? Over twenty. Sorry. Over twenty. Uh, I guess there is no extra credit problem. Uh, I just. Uh, I, didn't know that. I, didn't. I tried to do number I six. Number six. Ooh, no, I am. I'm looking on seven. Oh, oh no, no, it is me that. And, I, I just was you were very, very tired or a long time. Um, the difference between uh, young age, middle age, and uh, late age is <laughs> when when you are young, you are partying the whole night. At, at that morning, you look like you are sleeping, relaxing, and very fresh. In the middle age, you are partying the whole night, and at the morning, you look. Uh, you look like you were partying. You were partying, <laughs> and uh, the age time you are sleeping, relaxing, but at the morning you look like you were partying. Yeah, the whole right. 
the uh, extra credit thing. I maybe wrote here too much, but the this extra credit thing is really needed as a foundation for our next chapter on migration. So um, mathematically, this will give also a couple of linear differential equations, a couple to each other, the same as in previous problem. Try. Okay, and uh, what is what is challenging? Like the first equation is the same as, as before. Position would will depend on momentum, but then in previous the momentum uh, was kind of changing constantly, and here the momentum will depend on the position. So they are really coupled. They both are changing. Um, this formulation of the of the potential energy. That export, as we will see for vibrations, and this uh, frequency and mass for the uh, is just to play with units. So for expectation level of position, we do the same as before, right? DDT over or X. And when we need to practice the change of time over uh, this gradient. And I always forget there, there is a smart name of, of a person who designed it. It's like, but it's there, there is a name who designed this force, and uh, it is people use it. I'll try to bring it up later. So, derivative of the uh, x squared over x. So, derivative over x squared will be over the function in the linear function. Right. Yes. And then it, it is a still a mathematical beauty. So derivative for momentum will be equal. You can put angles here to the value of the position. So we do not have more than two equations. They are close to each other. And then we come to the set like uh, dp over dt proportional to x, dx over dt proportional to p. Uh, how to solve this equation? I can show, but maybe there is no time. Uh, it, do you solve similar equations in differential equations class? You didn't. I don't. I don't think so. No, we haven't gotten there yet. But but you should. It is a minimal basics that. Tell me the name of your teacher if you do not get to this problem. Uh, and and it, all our civilization, like uh, science and engineering, is based on solution of this equation. So we we need coupled system of linear differential equations. So the actual solution, one can suppose that solution has a linear superposition of exponentials as one people ask for differential equations, and then come uh, solve for coefficients, find uh, their mutual relation, and find that they will, will be trigonometric functions. Uh, you have the slides if you really want to go over, but I hope some of you did solve it. And then by combining this exponential with right, uh, right, right coefficients, one is going to get sine and cosine. So it is both are oscillating with frequency omega that comes in the uh, in the potential, and they do have a specific phase. So if one tries to visualize this solution, then one can uh, do a parametric plot with x and uh, x is for position, y x is for momentum. And then if you start, uh, what did you start? Minus k. If you started here, then uh, at initial, then momentum will uh, increase and then come to zero. And then if one tracks the value of this cosine and sine, it, it will just draw a circle. circle. So the uh, position and momentum are conjugated to each other because cycle-wise, they turn into each other. So 40 points, if uh, you get picture like this and partial credit if your trains are departing in the right directions. <laughs> So, please add together all points, divide by 100, 
So for question six, would it have been correct to say that X is equal to sine and Y is equal to cosine? Because in the derivative of X is equal to Y. And when you put the initial it's, it's fine. It's on the precise up to initial phase. What? I show you what I have. I will I will see it anyway. I will okay. like it. So uh please add together points. Uh, right if divide by hundred, so we see that some of you get more than 100% completion. And then I'm going to collect it. And then we will okay. all the bargain pieces. But are you going to give it back? Because I wrote Melody with oh. notes on it. Uh, I will approve the notes first. <laughs> They're all good. Make sure there's no bullying yeah. going on. They're <laughs> supportive. And some have little drawings. Yeah. <laughs> so I. Where is the camera? The camera is here. So. Meeting is done. Uh, he'll look at it. Uh, is done. Wishing you to uh, feel like you were sleeping the whole night, even if you didn't. And uh, looking forward to see you at five. Uh, yeah. Why so unenthusiastic? I don't think it was Wednesday. We got a lot of stuff to edit. I just put something in the crock pot so it was ready when I get back from there. What? 